can't remember. And what other things would you have been diagnosed with? Epilepsy. My epilepsy improved really good since uh, the week 12 started. My seizures seemed to subside. The f first of all, they just became not as severe. The grand mal seemed to calm down and they were just like petty mal. And then they went to little absences. And then they became less and less. Um, and I would say within the three months me um, B12 was stopped, I had my first grand mal on the, I think, it, I think it was the 15th or the 17th of March, something like that. And I've had another one since. Um, me epilepsy medication's been increased again. As a consequence of that, I've started putting weight on again. Um, I found out I have an underactive thyroid, and I think I truly believe that's because of the B12. It's affected that, so my hair's fallen out. So it's a vicious circle. I want to get the circle broke. Well, today I woke up, felt I had no sleep, couldn't concentrate. I've got a numbness in my arm from the elbow through to my wrist and down to my little finger. I'm fighting to keep awake. My tongue feels like swollen. I'm worried in case I'm going to bite it again. Um, I'm terribly thirsty. My skin's very dry. I just want to call up, curl up to a bone and die. It's the way I feel today. I think three, maybe four weeks ago I was a different different person, full of energy, very coherent, coordination was good, my thinking processes were good. Um, <coughs> short term memory is bad, I keep losing track of what I wanted to say. Um, I remember as a little girl, people used to say I was in a world of my own, I was in trouble constantly off the teacher getting the cane for not paying attention been a daydreamer and that seemed to carry on all through my life and it wasn't until I learnt out about B12 all these things I've been going through as a child seemed to coincide with B12 deficiency when I took my first reading of B12 levels I was low I think it was about 180 170 I can't remember I started the injections and the bits, my hands and my wrists felt very hot at first, but then I found I got more movement in them. And it took a month or two before I started to feel, for want of a better word, young. Um, and as I was getting the injections on a regular basis, I went from weekly to monthly, and I was getting them regular every month and my levels are checked and I think it was 2000 or just around the 2000 mark and it was stopped because I was told uh, my levels were too high and within three months it's dropped down to 500 and I don't know what it is now but I feel, I just feel old I think I feel like a mummy would feel 